with you. Told you I'd be right with you. Sorry about that. Trying to work on getting dinner done. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. I hope everybody's doing well. I hoped you like the scroll. Yes, you're right. I can't help it. Um, tai Chi with Craig Miller. And tai Chi for bears. So we can actually have Pooh Bear. Doing cloud hands. Notice how he rotates his Dantian as he does cloud hands. He has short arms, so it's hard to reach across. But he is adapting well and weight shifting. <laughs> All right. So on Mother's Day, it's this Sunday. Uh, they found a bear in Brentwood up on a tree and they tranquilized him and um, <clears throat> made sure that he made it back safely into central Missouri. Um, Robin and I went and uh, and saw it. It was pretty cool, actually. Got to see the bear and everything. Um, so I'm still hung up on that. I don't know why, but hey, I am. So, um, so anyway, so that's why Pooh Bear is joining us and of course panda bear has been here the whole time just as big brother pooh bear is with us today so um and it was kind of funny i was doing a, a zoom lesson yesterday and this is from people across the country so there's people in california and new york and florida um, and i mentioned about you know the bear being here and that pooh bear was here and people had like teddy bears right at hand there was probably 15 people on this zoom and a third of them there's at least five <coughs> excuse me at least five maybe more people like a lady pulls out a teddy i mean she, she didn't go far she walked off camera came back with a teddy bear another lady brings in a big teddy bear said i've been my childhood bear had it all my life um Two other ladies bring in these brown bears. And again, they were like close by. It wasn't like, oh, I wonder where I put that and ran off. They like ran, they like got off camera, came right back on and had these two big brown bears. Um, and then a lady had, uh, there's another bear. And then um, I forget which, I think she was a teddy bear also. And then a lady had a cardinal bear and a cubby bear uh, together. So it was, it was amazing how readily at hand they were. So anyway. Uh, I'll get off this kick um, by Friday, I promise you. Well, by next Monday, I promise you. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for joining us on Wednesday. I have a mink, a mink teddy bear. Whoa, a mink teddy bear. Wow, it's got to be like really soft. I still have my teddy bear from when I was a kid. It's, I think it's in my bedroom. I don't know. So I have my teddy bear from when I was a kid. So, mink cape. Oh, okay. That's a little different, Genie. A mink teddy bear and a mink cape. A little different. <laughs> but still incredibly soft. That's cool. All right. Right hand into a fist. Power left hand. Fingers together. Friendship. Tuck in the thumb. Remaining humble. Thank you so much for joining us on a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, I get distracted. <laughs> That's all right. That's right. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in person again. Um, I have to walk off camera for my dinner preparation here. Give me just a second. All right. So we're going to do deep breathing, standing in the Wuji position. Feet shoulder, 
hip distance apart. A gentle bend in the knees, tuck in the tailbone. It was made as a keepsake from the cape. Oh! Oh! So you have a mink teddy bear made from your mother's mink cape. Okay. It was made as a keepsake from the cape. Has blue eyes like, oh, how cool is that? How cool is that? Wow. What a, that is so sweet. That's cool. Thanks. Thank you, Jeannie, for sharing that. Now I understand. Okay. I'm glad you clarified that. All right. Deep breathing. Uh, we're going to do Qigong, five element breathing. Remember our earth, metal, water, wood, and fire. Okay. We're going to do six breaths. They're about in each element coming back to earth for three breaths between each between each one that's such a cool keepsake what a great memory of your mother that's really new cool i love that i love that all right qigong five element breathing thank you for sharing that with us genie i appreciate it starting out with earth for six breaths inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. To metal for six breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. To earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. To water for six breaths. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Back to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Onto wood for six breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. And exhale. Earth for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
Fire for six breaths, left hand, palm up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale and reverse. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And then back to earth for three breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And pause for just one minute. Let the relaxation flow through your body. Possibly you're feeling a sensation in your hands right now from being near your Dantian. Beautiful. If you look at your hands right now, they're probably nice and pink. That's your chi flowing through your body. All right. All right. Okay. Let's move along. Let's do our warm up exercises. I have to walk off camera again. Sorry, guys. Unless you're coming over and doing dinner at my house. Hey, you might want to. We're having pork steaks. All right. Warm up exercises next. Starting at the neck, moving down from there. Vuji position. Inhale the hands up in front of us. Exhale, tucking in the chin. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Looking side to side. Inhale to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Exhale, right hand, right shoulder. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. We're going to do it one more time because I don't know how to count. Exhale. Hey, at least I'm honest. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Back to prayer hands. Exhale. Relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circles next. Back up, inhale, forward, down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now reverse, 
Forward up, inhale, back down, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Gathering chi, reaching for infinity. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Touching heaven and earth. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Carrying the ball side to side. Inhale, two prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, left hand on top. Exhale, left. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale the ball over, back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Make sure that you have a chair sitting next to you for this next group of exercises. I want to make sure that you are staying safe. Hip exercises, side to side. Sorry, guys, I have to have dinner ready tonight. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, pushing right, tap or float the left foot. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to center, exhale, relax the hands down. Forward and backward hip exercises. Inhale, left heel, exhale, left toe. Inhale, heel. Exhale, toe. Inhale. And exhale. Back to center, other side, weight shifts left. Inhale, right heel. Exhale, right toe. Inhale, heel. Exhale, toe. Inhale and exhale and back to center heel kick is next stay safe use that chair if you need to inhale exhale inhale and exhale inhale exhale Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bow stance is next. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Finish with the ankles, weight shifts right. Inhale, heel, exhale, toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift, inhale, little toe, exhale, big toe, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shift, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And back to Wuji. Go ahead, shake those legs loose. I am sorry I keep disappearing off camera, but I need to make sure. I'm trying to defrost some pork steaks so we can have pork steaks tonight. Come on over. You're going to have some pork steaks, all right? Um, I got several great recipes for pork steaks. All right. All right. Everybody having fun? Having a very good time? Yeah, I know. Um, dad jokes, they never get old, right? Let's do our leg exercises, leg strengthening exercises. I think a lot of people really like these exercises, so. All right. From the Wuji position, weight shifts left, right foot, cat stance. Tap, right toe out in front, empty. Cat stance, once again. Right foot out to the side, empty. Cat stance. And tap right toe behind us, keeping plenty of space between the feet. And cat stance. Step into Wu Ji. Weight shifts right, bend in the right knee, left foot, cat stance. Tap, left foot out in front, empty. Cat stance. Left foot out to the side, keeping all the weight on the right. Cat stance. 
and tap left toe behind us. Cat stance. And back to Wuji. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. Isn't that a fun exercise? All right. Next, we're going to do weight shifting. All right. Um, remember, setting the foot down, shifting weight on it, two separate events. Okay. So, weight shifts to the left. Right foot, cat stance. Tap, right foot out in front, empty. Set the right foot down. Now weight shift right. All the weights on the right, tap or float left foot behind us. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts to the left and right cat. Tap, right toe out to the side, empty. Set the right foot down, and now weight shift right. All the weights right, tap or float left foot. Then set the left foot down, and weight shift left, right, cat stance. Tap, right toe behind us, empty. Set the right foot down. Weight shifts back onto the right, tap or float, left foot. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts left and right cat. And step into Wu Ji. Other side, weight shifts right, left foot, cat. Tap, left foot out in front, empty. Set the left foot down, weight shifts left. All the weights left, tap, float, right foot. Set the Right foot down, weight shifts right, and left cat. Our brain just got like stuck. Tap, left foot out to the side, empty. Set the left foot down, weight shift left. All the weights left, tap or float right foot. Set the right foot down. Weight shifts right and left cat. Tap left toe behind us, empty. Set the left foot down. Weight shifts left. Tap or float the right foot. Set the right foot down. Weight shifts to the right and left cat and back to Wu Ji. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. There you go. Everybody having fun? Woohoo! We got a small crowd today. All right. Hope you guys are having fun. Um, well, Jeannie's here, so I know she's going shabashi, shabashi. All right, so we'll do shibashi. Um, repetitions of three, okay? Repetitions of three. Uh, stay within your comfort zone. Oh, and we're supposed to, uh, we were going to work on Tai Chi for diabetes also. Okay, so uh, shibashi, repetitions of three. Uh, let's go ahead and start. There was one other thing I was going to say about Shibashi. Which was it? Um, oh, when you are doing scoop from the sea, look to the sky. Sometimes we have a tendency to do this as we do scoop from the sea. So mirroring right now, left foot slightly forward and we kind of lean forward as we scoop from the sea and then we just kind of 
open the arms up. Uh, much better way to do that one. As you scoop from the sea, you bend the back knee. So you essentially you end, end up looking straight ahead. So as you scoop from the sea, you bend the back knee down, keeping the back relatively straight as you scoop from the sea. And then as you look to the sky, you roll back, arching the back and push your chest up and out. So pushing the chest up and out, all right? So as we scoop from the sea, I'm dropping the back knee. Notice the front knee's bending. I'm staying relatively straight. My back is staying relatively straight as I scoop from the sea and then look to the sky. So I'd much rather see you do this to sink than this, okay? See the difference? All right. Um, didn't need to remind you about diabetes form. Yes. Well, apparently Tai Chi helps the memory. Doesn't help counting, but it helps the memory. All right. So remember that as we get from scoop to the sea, scoop from the sea, look to the sky, you're kind of bending that back knee. So the knee that's in back. So now as I'm going to the right, I'm bending that left knee sinking down. Okay. All right. Commencement, inhale and exhale. Boy, this looks familiar. Giving a big hug. See again, I can't even count to three sometimes. Next, we're going to a summary Donegan. Oh, thank you, Margaret Marie Donegan. She used to come to the Thursday night class. Thank you for checking in with that. I hope you told her that all of us said hi to her. Thanks, Margaret. We appreciate that. Um, Dancing with rainbows, weight shifts right, pivot, look left. Weight shifts left, pivot, and look to the right. Keep that back nice and straight. circling arms. Try and keep that back as straight as you can as you do this. Repulsing the monkey, starting with the left hand. Rowing the boat. Turn and hold the ball.
turn and gaze at the moon. Turn and push palms, starting with the left hand, pushing to the right. Cloud hands. I feel like I'm counting wrong today. So if I'm not doing three, I apologize. Here we are, it's scoop from the sea, look to the sky. Scoop from the sea, bending the back knees, not bending at the waist, pushing the chest towards the sky. Playing with waves. Dove spreads its wings. Bring the left foot back, weight shift left. Scoop from the sea again, dipping the back knee, keeping the back relatively straight pushing the chest towards the sky. You can feel it work the legs a lot more when you do this. Playing with waves. Dove spreads its wings. Horse stance. I encourage you to try the horse stance just once. Punch. Wild goose flies, stay safe. Circling. Clockwise, nice and slow. Get a good stretch on that torso. Pause at the bottom, stretch counterclockwise. Clockwise. Clockwise. 
and counterclockwise. One more time each side clockwise. and counterclockwise. Tuck in the chin and round up. Skippity, skippity doo da, skippity day. Can you turn the bathroom light out, please? And finally, calming chi. Thank you. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. There you have it. Shabashi. Repetitions of three. All right. Everybody having fun? Margaret, thank you for letting me know about Maria Donegan. What an amazing lady. Uh, talk about a lady who's amazingly independent. That's Maria right there. That's Maria. All right. I, now, this has nothing to do with dinner. This has everything to do with how warm it is in the house. Whew. All right. And the last exercise warmed me up. That's for sure. All right. So, Tai Chi for diabetes. So last week we went through like really, 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 really quick the grasping the bird's tail. So this is called grasping the bird's tail, stroking the bird's tail, grasping the swallow's tail, stroking the swallow's tail. And I think there's even a fifth uh, version of it. So uh, let's go through this. Um, so grasping the bird's tail has four different parts to it. Uh, the cool thing is there are eight different Tai Chi energies, eight different energies. Four of the energies are contained in grasping the bird's tail. Board off, roll back, press, and push. All right. So four of the eight are contained in just this one movement. Okay. So let me do, I, I want to break down each one individually. Okay. So we're going to start by doing grasping the bird's tail to the left. So I'm going to show you it from the left and then I'm going to rotate. So this will be the front of the room and the camera will be to the left. Okay. So I'm going to show it this direction and then I'm going to rotate the room 90 degrees. So I'm coming towards you so you can see what we do. Okay. So, um, if you have any questions, just type them in like, Craig, I'm not getting that, you dummy. Um, okay. So the first move starts out with what is known as a cat and ball stance. Now you guys know the cat stance. We do it all the time. The cat stance is all the weights on one foot. The other foot is lightly touching. Looking at it from the front like this, looking at it from the side is like this. So that's the cat part. What's the ball? Well, holding a Tai Chi ball. But in this case, you hold it on your hip. Okay. So as I'm doing cat and ball stance, um, I'm holding the ball kind of out on my hip. So looking at it from the side would be here, looking at it front on. So I'm kind of holding it over my hip. All right. Cat and ball stance. And so that's how we start this move out is doing the cat and ball stance. The right hand is palm down and the left hand comes underneath and kind of holds that ball. Okay. So looking at it, regular perspective from prayer hand position, I weight shift to the left. I toe in with the right, the right hand moves together with that. I weight shift onto the right cat and ball stance. I'm holding the ball right on my hip. Did you hear that? So feed me out for you. Let me do it in this perspective also. And I think I'm actually going to give you a third perspective on this one. Cat and ball stance. I weight shift left. I toe in right. I sink the weight to the right. Left hand kind of scoops in left foot cat 
and ball stance. All right, so let's do it this way now, now that your leg is starting to feel it. So from prayer hand position, watch how the right hand and right foot work together. So I weight shift left as I toe in right, see the hand and foot work together with that right foot. I'm in prayer hands, let me drop the left hand. I weight shift as I toe in, the hand and foot move together as you toe in. So weight shift, toe in, sink the weight back onto the right, left hand kind of scoops in, it kind of scoops in that left foot. All right, there you go. That's cat and ball stance. That gets us started. First step is an empty step. This is the same thing we do as we do a brush knee. So from this position, it's a step out, a wide step. All the weight stays on the right, okay? So, prayer hand position, weight shifts left, toe in right. I sink the weight onto the right, left hand scoops the left foot in, cat and ball. I step out empty with the left foot, and then the left hand comes up to block, and the right hand pushes down. So, let me do that coming towards you now. Prayer hand position. Weight shifts to the left, I toe in right. That right hand, right foot moving together. I weight shift back, scooping the left hand up underneath, cat and ball stance. Empty step, left foot. The left hand comes up to block. This is known as a ward off. That left arm hand is protecting the body and the right hand is pushing down simultaneously. Okay. Let me do that one more time coming towards you. Weight shift, toe in, sink the weight back, cat and ball stance, step out empty, and ward off. All right, so relax for one moment. There is a subtlety that happens in the yang style form, okay? And it happens, this is one reason why I don't teach um, and why Dr. Lam doesn't recommend, and I don't necessarily teach the Yang style um, to wiser adults. Um, and it is for this reason. Um, now, this can be modified, but in true Yang style, when um, your foot will pivot with weight on it, okay? Now, if you are on a carpeted floor, see, I've, I've got uh, this is a little forgiving here. I'm on a wood floor and my shoes don't stick on the wood floor. If you're on a carpeted floor, you need to be very, very careful with this because um, I don't want you to hurt your knee, okay? But I want you to watch my feet. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of bring the hands in just so you know where we're at, but I want you to watch this back foot as I, as I do this move. So I weight shift, I toe in, I sink into cat and ball. And I step out empty. Now, I'm going to drop the hands. As I shift my weight, I want watch this foot. Watch the right foot, this foot right here. As I weight shift, as I'm warding off, as I get to the end, I turn that foot. So I'm pushing the heel out as I do this. So I'm kind of pivoting on that toe and pushing that heel out. So my foot goes from here, where I'm, it's directly facing the camera, to sliding the heel out and now you can see the side of my foot but there's still weight on this foot i don't have a hundred percent of the weight on this foot okay so you do not have to do that if you do yang style but if you, that is the way traditional yang style is done there is um you have a, what they call a, a weighted um uh, the, 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 a weighted pivot that's not exactly the way they say it, but close enough, you get the idea. It's a weighted pivot, okay? So you need to change that and modify it uh, depending on your leg strength and your knee strength. Now, I know Margaret and Jeannie, you guys will probably be all right with this as long as you're not on carpeted surfaces. Or if you are on a carpeted surface, if your foot slides across the carpet, you'll probably be fine. If you have like an aggressive tread in your shoe, and a deep pile carpet, that may not work well for you, okay? So you have to modify this. All right, 
Um, just one, oh wow, we're like almost to the end of the time. Let's uh, practice ward off. Uh, cat and ball stance, ward off to the left. For our hand position, weight shifts left, toe in right. I sink the weight onto the right. Sweeping step, left foot. Left hand comes up to block, right hand pushes down, ward off. I have about 70% of the weight on the front, 30% on the back as I do that weighted pivot, all right? One more time coming towards you, then we'll stop for today. And uh, we'll just keep picking this up a little bit, a little piece at a time, okay? Prayer hand position, weight shifts left, toe in right. Sink onto the right, cat and ball stance. Sweeping step, left foot, no weight on the left. As I shift weight left, the left hand comes up to block, the right hand pushes down, and that hand kind of pivots. It's almost like that hand is pushing the heel as I do this. So I'm here. Um, it's almost like the hand kind of pushes the heel back as you do this. Okay, all right, so we will stop there. Um, sorry I didn't get through all of it, but I'd rather cover one thing and do it well than just run through a bunch of stuff and you don't understand it, okay? All right, let's do our cool down exercises. Thanks for joining me. Hey, bring your friends next time. <laughs> all right, tighten up all the muscles and relax. Tighten up the muscles and relax. One more time, tighten up the muscles and relax. Lastly, gathering chi, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more time, inhale, and exhale. And as my father would say, I need to skedaddle. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, have a great week. Uh, Friday, I'll be on the APDA channel and then uh, back here on Monday. Thanks for joining me. Jeannie, Margaret, thank you. Uh, Marie, tell, or Margaret, tell Marie hello for me, please. And from the rest of the class. All right, guys, take care. Thank you so much.